At this recycling plant, business is booming. Two-thirds of all of New York City's plastic waste that's put into recycling bins ends up here, where it's meticulously sorted, then sold to companies to make it into other plastics to meet skyrocketing global demand. In the past 20 years, the amount of plastic produced in the world has doubled. But today, globally, less than 10% is recycled. For decades, China used to recycle more than half the world's dirty plastics. But the country ended that practice earlier this year. Many believe the policy shift was driven by this unflattering documentary depicting poor Chinese hand-sorting the waste. But the plastics problem goes way beyond China. The other bigger problem, I would say, longer term systemic problem in the, in the plastics world is the enormous amount of plastics that don't make their way into a recycling bin or that because of the resin type or the way it's actually manufactured are not recyclable in today's you know, recycling industry. Earlier this year, a huge mass of that ocean plastic waste washed up ashore on a beach in the Dominican Republic. At the current rate, by 2050, the oceans will contain more plastic than fish, according to the World Economic Forum. Whether it be plastic bottles like this that are filling up the oceans and the landfills, it's increasingly clear the world is facing a plastics crisis. Some have compared it to a disease that's spreading across the globe. And now the United Nations is involved. There's an equivalent of a large garbage truck every minute of every day backing up to the ocean and just dumping plastic into it. We really have to look at ourselves and say, do we deserve this beautiful ocean that was given to us? Time to team up and commit to beating plastic pollution. Hashtag Beat Plastic Pollution campaign was viewed online by over 70 million people. Celebrities urging people to tag friends to commit them to give up using things like plastic straws and cups. But it will take much more than one awareness campaign to dig out from underneath the mountain of plastics the world is increasingly buried under. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.